Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Ooh, so I'm doing a little too much. So uh, today we'll be doing Daredevil Season 3, Episode 3. Sorry about the long delay. I was super busy, but now I'm not. So I'm recording a bunch of stuff today and I'm super excited for all this stuff that I'll be doing. So anyway, this is called No Good Deed. So we start off with Fisk is at the safe house and tells the attorney to um, keep Vanessa safe. Then we have the Albanians did everything and like alluding to everything that they did. And basically, uh, he's been put in a very nice place. It's basically a penthouse, a big penthouse. And so the lawyers are back, but Vanessa is missing when they tell this the news about Vanessa. And then we cut to where Karen is at boss's dinner, and he's trying to set him up with their nephew, and she's not ready to date, but she still stays for dinner. And then learn about uh, Fisk, and then uh, we then her boss says that she cannot do the story. Then Foggy has a bad dream and talks to Marcy about it. Then feels guilty about Matt because, you know, he was the one that brought the mask and what like, suit and everything for the whole Defenders thing. And then he sees the news about Fisk and then he kind of flips out about it. Then we have Matt is at uh, Fisk's safe house. And then we have him, uh, Fisk is talking to Matt in his mind. So we're basically pulling a uh, Jessica Jones between um, Jessica and what's the guy's name? Anyway, the person that she offed, you know, she, like, it's all in his head. That's gonna bother me, I cannot remember. Anyway, so then Karen talks to Ray. And then uh, Matt left when she kind of when he kind of hears her voice, and then he, she talks back to Ray, which is like the FBI agent, and he kind of just brushes her off. Then Matt hears the code to get in, so he gets in. Then we cut to where Fisk talks to Matt in his head again, and basically saying like, "What you're gonna do? You're gonna try to come find me? I dare you come find me?" That type of issue. And then we cut to where the FBI agents talk, and then we cut to where the attorneys talk to Fisk. And when they talk to Fisk, like the cameras are off. And then we find out Vanessa is safe. And then we cut to where Fisk wants her safer and closer. Then we have Foggy visits the DA's uh, presentation, or like starting up like the new campaign, I feel like, and talks to him and wants the Fisk uh, case to put him back in jail. DA says no, then Foggy guilts him, then the D tell, tells him to leave, and then we cut to more, uh, uh, Fisk talking to Matt in his head, then we cut to Ray, talks to Tammy, his wife, oh, no wait, I think Tammy says his boss, yeah, boss, sorry, and then we cut to where Fisk talks to Poindexter, and thinks some, um, and uh, for what he did, because he like, went crazy with everybody so that was pretty cool to watch and then we cut to where um and sees his talent and so uh he takes the food and leaves then he talks to the doctor and asks how he is he says it's hard and it can take a toll and he needs to process everything then talks about julie and tells her everything then the doctor clears them, and then we have Daredevil questions the lawyer. Then the people show up, and have basically Daredevil versus the FBI is like a really good fight scene. And they get a little aggressive. <laughs> then Fisk, because again, it's in his head, but he kind of ignores it and he leaves. Then Paige talks to the editor about the presidential hotel. It's owned by Fisk. So the penthouse he's seeing it is his actual penthouse because he bought it. The editor tells her to give it to Mason and she's getting super irrational. Then um, Sister Maggie talks to Matt and he wants to off Fisk. And they have Bullseye or 
you know, Poindexter is stalking a girl. Foggy is drunk and Matt finds him and they talk to him and he's basically he's saying he's leaving Matt alone and that he is gonna be like and gonna be more embracing a daredevil and he's, in order to do that he's gotta isolate his friends and make sure they're safe. And uh we have cut to where Fisk is alone and then we have Foggy is pissed. Then Matt leaves and um also stole Foggy, Foggy's wallet. And then Fisk knows about Daredevil still being alive. And that's in the episode. I give this a B plus. Um those are just a few things in there. I was like, are you serious? But overall I did really enjoy the episode. And that's what I did for this up this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of it. Do you agree, disagree? Do you like the new camera? Just let me know your thoughts down below because I know it's widescreen and that's probably beneficial for a lot of people. So anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully the audio is okay. I'll check it once I put it in editing and everything. Hopefully that will work today. <laughs> if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.